full time MMA? MMA. Nothing yeah. else. My life, man. Yeah. Or is this is this full time MMA now? Uh, I love full time MMA right now. <laughs> Back to the Daily Grind, thanks for checking out the channel. Make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy cause you know what time it is, it's full time. MMA. This is pretty interesting. Conor McGregor, the UFC's lightweight champion and Tony Ferguson, the UFC's interim lightweight champion have the same manager. I mean, I don't know if that's a conflict of interest or anything like that, but it's just interesting when with the dynamic here because we know Conor McGregor is pretty much going to fight whoever the fool he wants to fight and it could easily even though Tony Ferguson's the interim champion and that's literally what the fucking interim belt means is that's who you fight Conor McGregor could choose to vacate the belt and say you know what I want to fight Nate Diaz on St. Patrick's Day I don't give a fuck about the belt I'm the champ champ no matter what I'm going down in history as the champ champ I headlined Madison Square Garden I was the lightweight and the featherweight champion at the same time I'm the champ champ Fuka belt go fight Khabib he could say that a lot of people would be pissed off and say, oh, he's never defended a belt. He's not a real champion. He's blee, 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 blee. And he would say, suck my big Irish boss. I'm fighting Nate Diaz. And, and I mean, or he could fight Pauly. Conor McGregor probably doesn't give a fuck what you think if you're a hater. He, he, even if you feel like it's justified. No, he never defended a belt. He's not my champion, not my GOAT. That's fine if you think that, but th that, I don't really think that matters. So with that being said, he could vacate here and Tony Ferguson wouldn't get the fight but Conor, Conor McGregor's manager is saying Conor McGregor is still undecided and so I wonder how that relationship goes like when he's talking to Tony Ferguson like hey man yeah I talked to Conor man he's, he's undecided like come on bro you know I, I fucking earned that fight I deserve that fight that's the best move for my career yeah bro but I don't know about if it's the best for Conor I don't know how that's going to go. It's just funny. But, I mean, a lot of these top guys have the same managers. I mean, I, I, there, there's just not a huge pool of MMA managers. I mean, I know a lot of the top guys are represented by, you know, you'll see the familiar faces like um, Demetrius Johnson. He's represented by, like, the same guy as John Jones. And, I mean, a lot of big-name people. Conor McGregor and Tony Ferguson got the same manager. Um, Khabib, Ferdoom. You get the point. A lot of these guys are, you know, there's only a few select MMA managers, and it's just interesting whenever, I don't know if this situation's ever came about, your interim champion and your, you know, lightweight champion, you're the manager of both of them. Uh, no, I actually, I know this situation has never came about because fucking we're talking about Conor McGregor here, and I mean, you, you know, it, that's Conor McGregor. He's going to do what he wants, and I mean, it, if everything was right in the world, Tony Ferguson would be fighting Conor McGregor next. And hey, that's that's a win-win for the manager. <laughs> He's getting a payday that night. You, oh my God, they're both getting paid. Oh, this dude's in the fucking game. It's like he low-key hit the lottery. I don't know. It's, uh, he's in a good spot regardless. But Tony Ferguson, he's not in such a great spot. I mean, he, he's in a cool spot because he got the interim title. But even there's no guarantees in this business. Dana White came out and said, yeah, he's going to be fighting Conor next. That doesn't really mean too much. All right, so with that being said, what are the op listen listen to what uh, his manager had to say real fast and see what this is what he had to say about Conor McGregor. He said, "These are all different things that pop up in the media. Some true, some not. As it relates to MMA, I think Conor's been clear that he wants to come back and fight for the UFC. So there's no question that that is going to happen. Who is that going to be against, and what is next is still to be determined." We're just starting to talk and explore all the options, but Connor's a draw. He does record-breaking gates and pay-per-views. At the end of the day, it does not matter what he does, whether it's WWE or the UFC. He's gonna have a record-breaking event. Now that may go what in the what in the fuck? WWE or the UFC? I was shit. If anything, say boxing or the UFC, nigga. Don't throw the fucking WWE in from left field. What the fuck? That ain't combat sports. That ain't what the fuck I want to hear or see. Yeah, Connor could do that for a payday, but I'll get man. 
you know, WWE fans would be happy, but everybody over here in the MMA world would be, man, you need to eat a fucking dick. Even though they blessed us with Brock, Brock Lesnar, and you know, I don't know if they really blessed us with CM Punk, but you know, CM Punk's over here and shit. I don't know, bro. I don't want to see kind of like a, that's, that's like, oh, would you watch a Conor McGregor fucking WrestleMania? You know, the big show coming out, Royal Rumble, Conor McGregor throwing the big show. Nah, get the fuck out of here. I mean, I don't want to see that, bro, but ew, that came out of nowhere. Whether it's the WWE or the UFC, come on. Whether you should have said boxing, but anyways, he, he, he continued. He said, Tony came out victorious. I represent Tony as well as McGregor, so I was really happy for Tony to accomplish that. You have the trilogy fight with Nate Diaz. You have boxers like Manny Pacquiao knocking on the door. That's interesting. That's one of the options I didn't even consider Manny Pacquiao. I was thinking Polly over Pacquiao for shit. Uh, he said Pacquiao. He said you got, they got options if this nigga's reaching down to Pacquiao. But he said you got Pacquiao knocking on the door. I've said this before in many interviews. Connor has earned the right to choose and the numbers don't lie. He is weighing his options. He is looking at all the different options and opportunities that there are for him, but there's no question that he wants to come back and compete. So with that being said, fuck Tony Ferguson. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> that was a good that was a good time for it, you gotta admit though. By the way, I'm not actually saying fuck Tony Ferguson for those of you who don't know the fucking inside joke. Um with that being said though, he does got fucking options. And, and even though Nate Diaz is probably the most realistic op option here, because that's going to draw the most pay-per-views out of Manny Pacquiao, fucking, who else did he say, um, Tony Ferguson, Pauly McNoodles, all of these guys, Tony, Nate Diaz is the biggest fight. And you have to kind of think Conor wants the biggest fight, but he does have other motivations. He does want to legitimize the title. He does want to shut up the people that say he's defended the belt. Or so I would think. Uh, but at the same time, he might not. If it comes down to the motherfucking Benjamins, when it comes down to the money, he might say, hey, Nate Diaz, I'll sell two million pay-per-views. Tony Ferguson, I'll sell one. That sounds like motherfucking a champ champ decision. I'll take two over one. Fuck your time, Matt. And just drop the belt right there and say fucking Nate Diaz. I'll see you on St. Paddy's Day, you motherfucking son of some of my bitch. But you know what I'm saying? Hey, literally, a lot of people... Are, are thinking about Conor McGregor vacating the belt as, oh my god, that would never happen. Conor won't vacate the belt. You're crazy for thinking that. You're, I, I disagree, and I think it's the opposite. I think you're crazy if you think Conor really gives a fuck about the, like, legitimizing the title over money. Over money. Now, I know he cares about legitimizing the title, but when it comes about, hmm, Conor, what's more important to you? Two million pay-per-view buys or shutting up some people that are probably still going to find a reason to hate on you. If Conor McGregor beats Tony Ferguson, do you think fucking super trash talks about him tomorrow? Do you, do you think he's still making videos? Oh, he's still in the, Even though he beat Tony Ferguson, he's still in the Illuminati. He still fucking is a bad parent. He still fucking is... Uh, dodged this guy. He's still not the champ champ because he's got one belt. He's still fucking... There's still going to be Connor haters after he defends the belt. So, nigga, I'm taking my two million pay-per-view buys and y'all can eat a dick. And then I tell you what, after I fight Nate Diaz and sell two million pay-per-views, how about I come take my belt back because that's an option. Or how about after I fight Nate Diaz, you know why you, Tony fights Khabib, how about after I fight Nate Diaz, I fight motherfucking GSP. Mm. Now, now, Nate Diaz and then GSP and then off into the sunset or maybe one more fight. Or do you want to fight Tony Ferguson and then Khabib or Tony Ferguson and then Justin Gaethje? That would be dope. I do want to see Conor McGregor versus Justin Gaethje, yo. That maybe that could be his fight after GSP, but everything's got to go right for the GSP fight to happen. That might not happen, but that could happen. You know what I'm saying? What Conor McGregor could wait to see what happens in this G. What if What if GSP wins over Michael Bisping and calls out Conor? Conor, I will meet you at 170 pound, and I will show you the real champion of the UFC. Cause now my stock is higher than your stock in the stock market.
<laughs> I had to say stock market. All right. You get the point, man. There's so many options for Conor McGregor, dog, and his manager knows it. And even though he represents Tony Ferguson as well, Tony Ferguson's got to know it too. Tony, you might want to be starting to prepare for Khabib because there's a lot of shit going on in Conor's world, and there's definitely no guarantees. I mean, with that being said, it is what it is. I personally want to see Tony Ferguson versus Conor next, but that's because I fucking like MMA and I'm a hardcore fan. But I also understand if it doesn't happen, like, completely. I mean, I want to see Tony Ferguson happen next, but I predict somehow there might be Nate Diaz, man. It is what it is. Let the hitters know what the fuck you tell me in the comments. And hey, I also am the same guy that predicted... Uh, Conor McGregor versus Floyd Mayweather wasn't gonna happen. <laughs> so who gives a fuck what I predict? And when, when it, unless you're talking about my motherfucking UFC predictions, put, put some respect on my predictions. These motherfuckers be on fleek. But with that being said, it is what it is. Let's hit what the fuck you tell me in the comments. I'm out. The dudes that hate on the full time family are the type of dudes that walk into a strip club and give all the strippers some Starbucks gift cards. <laughs> Bye, Felicia.